Hello guys, it's me again, and this is probably about my fifth attempt trying to do this video. Um, I'm coming at you guys live from my room, and I just really kind of want to go with the same topic I was going off of my last vlog, which I was talking about the Zimmerman versus Trayvon Martin case. Um... As I'm sure a lot of you know by now that uh, Zimmerman was found not guilty and he pretty much walked. Um, and that's what this vlog, my fifth vlog, is going to be about. Um, it's just really so disappointing. I mean, I am so disappointed in our judicial system right now. And, I mean, it's just, I just don't get it. I mean, I know about the stand your ground law that they have in Sanford, Florida. I know about it. I understand it. But, the thing is that he should have never had to stand his ground because he never should have followed him. I mean, that's just my opinion personally. I mean, George Zimmerman that night. He was looking for trouble. He 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 had in his mind what he was going to do that night. He knew he was going to kill somebody. And that somebody, unfortunately, happened to be Trayvon Martin. And, I mean, really, Trayvon Martin was damned if he did and damned if he didn't. Because he was going to die that night. I hate to say that, you know. But, I mean, truth is truth. I mean... Because if that's the case, then, I mean, if he felt like that Trayvon was suspicious, when he called the cops, he should have just left it at that, really. He should never have got out of his car. I mean, and it was raining on top of that. What person in their right mind is going to get out their car and follow somebody and it's pouring down rain outside? That lets you know right there the kind of mindset and really that this man is, you know, cuckoo in the, in the head, really. Um, I mean, Zimmerman is really just mad because he wasn't a cop, you know, and he was just neighborhood watch. So, he just decided he was going to take matters into his own hands. I mean, he's had run-ins with the law before. I mean, he beat his girlfriend. I mean, and I mean, they found some pictures on Trayvon. I believe, I don't know was his face his Facebook or his old MySpace or whatever social media net site, network site that it was that um, he, you know, had a weed plant and, you know, smoked weed. I mean, even with that, that still doesn't give anybody a right to kill nobody. I mean, you know how many folks smoke weed? Hell, I don't smoke weed before. I mean, that don't mean... I'm finna, you know, do nothing wrong or do nothing bad. I mean, I mean, Trayvon was not hurting anybody. Trayvon went to the store. He went bothering nobody. Probably when he talking to nobody until he called his girlfriend. I mean, the whole thing. And then they're going to give this man back the same gun that he used to kill Trayvon Martin. And they're, they're going to give this man the same gun. I, I don't know what these people are thinking and uh, his lawyer said he needs it now more than ever because so many people hate him. I mean, he made the nation hate him. I mean, he the nation should hate him. I mean, I mean, look at what he did and he got away with it. I mean, that is the sad part. I mean, I feel right now, you know, for Trayvon Martin's family, his mother, his father, I feel feel for them I mean I can't say I know what it feels like because I never lost a child As a matter of fact I don't even have a child at this point but I can just only imagine the pain and the hurt and to to basically feel like your son life meant nothing that somebody kills your son and they don't even really get to pay the price for it they get to be a free man with the same gun that they I, I just can't even fathom that really and I mean another thing I, I do not feel that the prosecution fought 
as hard as they could to be honest it was things that they didn't say that they should have said that they are saying now but i mean at this point it is too late i mean they just i mean i don't know why they're saying it now i mean they saying he's a murderer now i mean they should have been saying that in the courtroom a couple days ago and i mean i don't know what the six women that were on the jury i don't know what they were thinking i don't know what their logic was i thought maybe none of them had any kids or something, but then i was told that one of them had eight children so that couldn't possibly end. i i just i i don't know the stand your ground law just really just really was traveling downfall and to me he shouldn't have had to stand his ground. I mean, he was. I mean, why can Trayvon have stood his ground? I mean, anybody said nothing about that. I mean, this man was following him and stuff. And like I said in my other video, I mean, we don't know what was said. We don't really know what happened. Who passed the first nickel? Who who did this, that, and the other? Because we weren't there, and we will never know. We only know what Zimmerman says. And I mean, as far as I'm concerned, he's lying. And I mean. But, I mean, that's his truth. I mean, we will never know Trayvon's truth because he's six feet under. And that's just really sad. And, I mean, this case just was handled very, very poorly. But then so was the Casey Anthony case. And way back in the day, the O.J. Simpson case. So, I mean... And, I mean, right now, people are really trying to make this case about race. And, I mean... I really hate to say it because, like I said in my last vlog, I, you know, I think the race car is really played out. But in this instance, I have to say that issue death, the issue with race was definitely a main factor in this case. Matter of fact, the whole assumptions and racial profiling had a lot to do with this case and the killing. And, I mean, it was a shame that the prosecution couldn't even say anything about racial profiling. And that's exactly what Zimmerman was doing when he saw Trayvon Martin in his hoodie out walking in the rain trying to get home. I mean, he was six houses down from his house. And, I also, I just heard something today, actually probably about an hour ago, that saddened me that... Trayvon Martin was missing for three days and his his I think his daddy did not know where he was because you know he was visiting his daddy and I mean they didn't care the the uh police did not care to knock on the doors and say like did this kid live here I mean whose child is this I mean they did not care I mean are were they really that heartless I mean he sat up in the morgue for three days he was a John Doe he didn't even have a name he, he was just another another dead nigga to them I mean it's true and I mean that's the way a lot of I mean I won't say all white people feel like that because that's a lie because I've had well, a lot of white friends and I never you know felt they were prejudiced or in any way shape mm. or form and I know that not all white people you know are like that and the thing is Zimmerman was not all the way white I believe he was mixed with half Mexican but I mean that just goes to show you that you think we've come this far with racism but racism is still walking around on two legs with horns on his head and a tail sticking out his ass and I mean we just really have to fight I mean there has to be some form of justice and by justice I do not mean black people I do not mean for us to go out and shoot up a bunch of crackers as some of them as some of us may call them refer to them I do not mean for us to go and shoot up the popo I do not mean for us to start looting and stealing and having all this violent behavior because I mean that just really justifies what Zimmerman was saying about Trayvon if you know us as a black people if we go out and start doing these things we should not do that we should be no the um I also heard that the Black Panthers have a hundred dollar bounty on his head and at first I thought they wanted him dead and 
I posted it on my Facebook and you know that pissed me off because I thought it, that made them no better than Zimmerman I mean but I think they just wanted to capture him and I can see that I mean him enforce justice because I mean we have to force this issue I mean ev I mean everybody because I mean that could have been anybody's child walking out that night with a hoodie on their head and it's just unbelievable and I know I'm rambling and I'm finna to get ready to sign off and you know I would appreciate comments down below um likes you know and you can also um search on the internet and you can find out um I think it's this petition that everyone has been signing you can look that up I wish I knew the exact domain name and address, but I don't. I'll probably make another video just to shout that out. Um, but this has been another another signature style production, and I'm off. Until next time, deuces, be safe.